uh, what an absolute miserable day. I've just had to walk Harley in it. Which is why he's sat in front of the fire. <laughs> Bless him. Good morning guys, how you all doing? Look at him. Sad little face because he's all wet. <laughs> I'm fine, I was under the umbrella. <laughs> What's up? Are you just wet? Eh? I don't know. Got a few things to tell you and show you. In fact, I'll show you the things first. Remember me saying that I was going to finish hanging up all my pictures? Check it out. I've got my Batman v Superman picture up. This uh, holographic Superman. I don't know if you can make that out. And my Wonder Woman that I got from LA. I really like how that looks on there. Put a few things up in Harley's room. Including, finally, this great big Justice League poster. Put my holographic Star Wars picture up there. And because I've put that there, I've had to move a few. Like the uh, superhero London sightseeing bus picture up here. And also this uh, wheat planner. And I've already noticed that this pen was on the floor five minutes ago. What had happened was the magnetic strip on the inside of the pen top had come away from the top and I think it's because the heat from the radiator caused it so that might be in the wrong place might have to move that but that's not all I'll put these two pictures up here and finally after five years I have that up <laughs> oh, let me turn the light on that way we can see it better I'm very happy with that. It's only been five years sitting in a little cardboard tube. <laughs> so yeah, I've been keeping myself busy. Although, last week, I was thinking of vlogging it, but it had put me in such a bad mood. I had to take my car to the garage again. I kid you not. Let me sit you down. I was leaving work after a night shift so it was roughly around six o'clock in the morning and I was going through a place called Darnell and they'd been doing roadworks. The roadworks that they were doing was they'd been digging up some of the surface of the road so they could redo it. But of course they didn't do it all during the night. So they left it all exposed, including raised iron works, you know, like manholes and whatnot. And I didn't see one as I went over it. I wasn't even going that fast. I was doing about 22, 23 miles an hour. And I know this because the lanes that I were on, they were merging from two to one. And a car was going past me and I looked at the speedometer to see what speed I was doing in relation to this other guy. And that's when I heard, and I felt the car jerk up and I'm like, what? And then straight away, clack, 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 clack. I'm like, no! So I pulled the car over to have a look. I couldn't see anything hanging off. So I drove all the way home with this clacking noise and I was, well, I was getting angry. Let's put it that way. So of course, when I got out of bed in the afternoon, the first thing I did was go to the garage. They said, yeah, just leave it here and we'll have a look at it. So I went home on the tram. Actually, no, I went to the Asda then home. And then I got a phone call around four o'clock-ish saying that, yeah, my car is not drivable, that they're going to have to keep it. And I was like, oh. So I was thinking, have I got to go on the tram to work or the bus? And I thought, I'll contact Pete, see if I can borrow his car again. Luckily I could. So Joe picked me up, took me back to their house. I had some food there, which was really nice. Pete's a fantastic cook. Gave me his car keys and I went home, went to work that night. And the garage was telling me that they don't know how long the car was going to be there for. The very next day, I got a phone call saying, uh, we found a part, it's the shock absorber. There's like a ring on the top of something. That was snapped, broken. And so they had to get a spare part from Ford to fit it in. She said it'll be ready by five o'clock this afternoon. And I'm like, oh, 
I contacted Pete again to let him know. So I went to meet them at Joe's parents' house. Pete drove me to the garage. I picked up my car. <sighs> so far, touch wood, it's been fine since. And it wasn't that expensive, to be honest. But they did say, the garage did say to me, they have never, ever had to sort this out before. And it was just like, it's, it could only be me. It could only be me and this car. Uh, I'm just realising that fire is very, very warm right now. Not sure if there's been anything else that I could tell you about. Hmm. But as for today, I was hoping to go out somewhere, but the rain is preventing that. I did think about maybe going somewhere like Meadowall, but it's Saturday. It'll be... I nearly swore there. I was going to say something really bad then. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> It'll be horrendously busy. Let's say that. So my other thought is go to the cinema. I don't normally go on a Saturday and there's four films that I want to see. Four. And I actually thought about going to the Chesterfield one. So I looked on the website for Cineworld at Chesterfield. See Gemini Man. The first showing's at 20 to 9 tonight. Ridiculous. And I looked at a few other films that I want to see and what was the other one? Zombieland, that's not until like 6.40. What's that all about? So I've looked at the times at the cinema that I usually go to and they're a lot better. So right now I'm in two minds about whether I'm going to go or not. But before I do anything, I'm going to have some dinner, I think. My stomach's grumbling like crazy. But I'm going to turn the fire down first. I'm actually starting to sweat. According to my car, it's five degrees. What? See? Five degrees. I also noticed there's quite a lot of traffic getting here. It's taken me just over 20 minutes to get here. Normally it's a lot less than that. Anyway, I'm now gonna... My phone's going crazy. <laughs> it's in music car. Anyway, I'm now gonna go into the cinema. Hopefully they've got the heating on. Wow, it's gone up three degrees to eight. <laughs> well, I had a bit of a hoopla in the cinema. I went in, I bought my ticket asking for Zombieland 2, I went to the toilet, then I went into the cinema itself, sat down, they were showing some of the Adams Family, I thought oh, it's the trailer, took my hoodie off and my coat, and then I realised the name credits were coming up on the screen, and I'm like, this is not a trailer, this is the film. So I took out my ticket to load, and sure enough it said the Adams Family. I quickly got out of there, went back down into the lobby and I went back to the guy who gave me the ticket and straight away he went, you've come to get the right ticket, haven't you? I'm like, yeah, you gave me the wrong one. He went, yeah, I realised after you'd left. <laughs> so that took a bit of time to sort that out. And I managed to get into the cinema just in time. The card that comes up with the name of the film, that came on as I walked in. So I missed all the trailers, me. At least I missed the adverts though. I got in my seat, realised it was red hot in there, it was like a sauna, honestly. And because I'd put my coat and hoodie back on, I had to remove them again. And even though I was sat there in my t-shirt, I was still sweating, it was that warm. I think I'm still feeling it, which is why my hoodie's open and my coat's on the back seat. But I enjoyed the film, I'm sure I'll be reviewing it in about six to eight weeks, roughly. <laughs> I still haven't reviewed the last film. I've got my little list of things that I want to say, I just haven't filmed it. I'm sure I'll get around to them sooner or later. But as for now, it's, wow, well, coming up to half past three. Hmm. Kind of thinking of just going home. I did think about going into the cinema again for another film, but I found out that the smut on the arena and by the time I come out, it's just gonna be crazy busy around here. I don't want to deal with that. Oh, hold on, I've got a phone call. Oh, that was a long conversation. It was my brother Tony. Apparently, according to my phone, we were on, we were talking for like nearly 18 minutes. I've gone very, very warm. <laughs> I've had to turn my heating down. What was I saying? I have no idea what I was talking about. I know I've talked about the cinema. Uh, and it's now quarter to four, and I'm already starting to need the toilet again. So I think I'm just gonna go home. In fact, I, I know I, I need to go home. I need to get my washing done. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Wow, you didn't run away when I turned the camera on. <laughs> he normally runs off. Taking him out for his 
woke. The rain has actually got down to like just spitting now. Typical. You know, I wanted to be out all day, go somewhere, maybe the Peak District, but I couldn't because of the rain. And as soon as I get home, it calms down. I don't know. I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day playing on Fallout New Vegas. I think I'm nearly finished with it. That's pretty much what I've been doing over the past however long it was since I last vlogged. <laughs> a week and a half. That and I've been concentrating on my holiday film. With New Vegas it got to the point where I'd run out of Quest Bar, the main one. And that was somewhere in a place called The Strip. And as I was getting there I discovered some other quests that I could do, some side ones. Especially for the Kings. And finishing that gave me a pass key to get into the strip otherwise I'd have just got shot by robots <laughs> and so I think I am getting close to the end of it I guess I'll find out soon enough and as for my holiday film I'm still right at the beginning of it I'm trying to find a song that will go on the beginning of the film so that's basically all I've been doing since I last vlogged something tells me you're hungry you want some dinner don't you I'll feed you in a minute yeah I'm really not going to do much else today Anyway guys, I'm going to sign off now. I know I haven't really done much, but oh well. All that's left for me to say now is thank you for watching and subscribing if you have, and liking this video if you did. Until the next time, peace out. You know what I haven't done in a while? Read out a comment from my vlog in Works Up from Chutney Bay. Watching this vlog was like watching an episode of The Twilight Zone. Perhaps the retail part was in a different dimension or a parallel universe. Lol retail park I don't know what you're talking about